G'day, g'day, how is it going? Well, every man and their dog seems to be finding these inverters thrown away, uh, or they managed to buy them on the cheap. However, I don't know. For some reason, I never seem to find them, or they're for sale and they want like a hundred bucks and they're broken, don't even work. And to pay a hundred dollars just to scrap it, definitely not worth the money. But finally, I have found myself a freebie on Gumtree. I snapped it up and, uh, well, this is the first time I'm going to be scrapping an inverter. So let's see what's inside and um, yeah, you can learn from my mistakes, I, I guess. So uh, let's do this. So looking at it, it is alloy on the outside. You've got an alloy heat sink. Um, even these screws, probably stainless or something. All right, let's get this thing apart. Straight away, I can see some nice thick heavy cable. Some circuit boards in there. All right, let's ooh, take some more screws out. Bang. Start with these. Okay, got this cover off now. Took a bit of convincing. A couple of these screws didn't want to come out. Put that to one side. That reveals a absolute monster heatsink. Cool. All right. Let's flip her over. Torx bit. Get them out. All right. Let's get at it. That feels like metal. It is not metal. Something metal under that though. That comes off to reveal more screws. Definitely metal. All right, what we can see now is one of the boards. Plenty of copper coils on it. I don't know much about boards, but it seems to be plenty of fun stuff. Little fan. And these cables should just pull out. Get this board off. Right, that board is off. Look, like I said, I don't know much, but there's a fair bit of copper coils in there around the place. Could crack them open, or I just might leave them on the board and sell it as is. All right, back to the unit itself. Some more cabling. Check that out. Some nice copper transformers. Big capacitors. Some more boards so I'll uh, go ahead and start pulling all that out okay so I've taken the guts out of this transformer there it is bunch of boards some good stuff on there actually uh, so if you're into micro scrapping go ahead and pull that all out I'm not and unfortunately I don't have the time for it uh, surprisingly heavy amount of alloy that's your cable all right so we have our transformers not as easy to get out well not at this stage anyway all right i've got a little hex bit let's see if uh they'll come out yep easy frustratingly this is not magnetic so it's not holding the bit in but that's all right it'll come out and that is the last of the transformer out couple of those screws were a little difficult to get to. A bit fiddly, but nonetheless got there. All right, and that can, comes off nicely. Got that sticky paste stuff, as you normally do. But that alloy heat sink has got some weight. That's massive. So, yeah, put that aside. 
All that is left to do is just to take this plastic off. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. Um, any plastic, just so we can clean up and get some nice clean alloy. Okay, well there you have it. This is what is inside a solar inverter. A big chunk of alloy heat sink. Alloy casings, circuit boards, transformers, cables, little fan. You got some screws that are stainless steel, bunch of steel screws, tiny little bit of steel plate, and that is it. I'm gonna say probably 90 or well, 99% of what's in a solar inverter is saved from landfill. There's only a little bit of plastic wastage. So if you got one, scrap it out. Uh, if you find one, grab it. It's so good, in fact, I'll probably start buying them if I can, if I see them cheap enough. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, especially to the end, I do appreciate it. All right, so cheers, catch you on the next one, bye.